Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Anthony and Larry Play. I'm Anthony Gamer, and I'm Larry, Larry the Lion. Today we're going to be playing one of my all-time favorite games, and that's Grand Prix for the Atari 2600. That's correct. Now, this game was programmed by the amazing and probably one of the greatest uh, video game programmers of all time, that being David Crane. So let's learn a little bit more about the game before we get started. Okay, now this comes directly off uh, AtariAge.com and was contributed by a gentleman named Lord Helmet. Grand Prix is a typical early Activision title. Colorful graphics and solid, fun gameplay. In what is possibly the simplest racing game ever, it is your job to race to the finish line in as little time as possible, all the while swooping in and around other cars on the track. If that wasn't bad enough, oil spots litter the track's final stretch, making the end of the race quite treacherous. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. You're welcome. Grand Prix was one of the first games that Activision awarded a patch if you were able to beat a certain time on one of the four tracks and send in a picture of your accomplishment. So we're about ready to begin. How we're going to do this is each of us are going to do uh, the four races. That's right, uh, four tracks. Right. And we're going to record our scores. Remember, in this game, it's important to get done as fast as possible. You're not exactly racing against each other. You're actually racing against the clock. So, the one who gets the best time, the most best times, I think that sounds about right. Yeah, I couldn't think of another way to put it myself, will be the winner. So, without further ado, let's head to the track. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready when you are. Got my driving shoes on. Okay, let's... Go and play some Grand Prix. Okay, now because of the fact that I am the first one, I'm going, because you selected, I'm going first. Yeah, it sounds fine for me. All right, here I go. And you think we'll get any of the patches? Well, it would be nice if we could. Ooh, nice driving. I know. Yeah, but you're a pretty good driver in real life, so I'm a little concerned. Well, you should be. Look out. Oh! Man. They just pop up all the time, don't they? Yep. Oh! Okay, nabbit. Come on. We'll see how good you do. Yeah, but see, I drive carefully because I have a lot of kids. Oh! That's true. I've always been a careful driver. Yeah, we'll see. Here we go. Okay, 47, 16. Not bad. Now it's my turn. Okay, whenever you're ready. All right, let me uh, get myself situated here. Hand me the controller. Okay, it's your go. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can beat your score, which shouldn't be hard. <laughs> oh, that was luck. Now while Larry's oh now while Larry's driving, uh, interesting story I read on uh, Atari Protos was that even uh, David Crane himself had a hard time getting around uh, all the cars and getting the, the highest possible score. Oh, but he eventually ah that's not fair. You should have slowed down. Well yeah whatever. All right, forty three ninety nine. Looks like you won the first race. Yep. All right, we're ready for the second one. Yeah, ready when you are. All right, now here goes Anthony taking on the second track. Uh, while Anthony's driving, i uh, let you know a little background information here. Now, each of the tracks uh, get longer with each uh, each new level. Excuse me. Uh, you get a longer track. Oh, man. Keep going. All right, now the first track is named Watkins Glen. Uh, second one is Brands Hatch. It has one bridge. Third one is Lamaze with two bridges, and fourth one is Monaco with four bridges. Yep. All of them named Apo after actual racetracks. Nice recovery. Thank you. Ooh, there went the bridge. Oh! Now, interesting uh, side note that uh, David Crane himself had a little bit of trouble in getting past. Uh... Yeah. Oh, now 
Rumor has that there's an invisible car on race one. Yeah, I think that's only if you uh, don't hit anything towards the end. All right, 132. See if you can beat that one. All right. I bet you I can. Okay, well, we'll see, smart guy. All right, it's my turn. Yep. One interesting fact I read uh, on Matt Reichert's page on, you know, uh, what was on AtariProtos.com. By the way, hello, Matt. Uh, oh. Is uh, this game is quite popular, uh, and I uh, believe that because just about everyone I knew that had an Atari Twenty Six Hundred had this game. Uh, and he pointed out that's why you find quite a quite find this game. Excuse me. Oh, uh, you find this game a lot at yard sales and stuff because pretty much everyone I knew had it that had a Twenty Six Hundred, and those that didn't, uh, they'd come over to my house to play it. Oh, you're hauling the butt now. Look out for the bridge. Oh, nice one. I'm going to be... Oh, I'm going to beat your score. I just know it. Uh, we'll see, smart guy. Oh. Darn it. Yeah, them cars just keep right on coming. Oh, almost had it there. Yep. Oh. Oh, man. Well, I won the second race. Yeah, lucky you. Let's see how you do on the third one. Yep. Third one's coming right up. Here we go. Folks, he is driving like he's heading home from work on the freeway. Oh! And you crash, just like you do in real life. I have only been in a couple accidents, thank you very much. Oh. Oh, come on. I would just jump out at you. Yeah, I think that's kind of the point. Yeah, it, I, I know it's the point. Oh, darn it. Almost had it. Trying to get between the two cars there. And that usually never works out. Second bridge. Oh, you're you're traveling. Oh, oh, nice recovery. Uh, thank you. Oh, so much for that recovery. further. All right, 220. All right, my turn. Yep, let's see how you do. I have to be 220.89. Here I go. Oh. Now 
while Larry's trying to beat my score, let you guys know, uh, Larry and I made a long list of uh, games that we would like to play here uh, on Anthony and Larry Play. And a pretty long list, actually. I think it's close to 100 games from different platforms and all kinds of stuff, so... Um, just let you know we're going to keep this going for a while. Oh, yeah. It's been a while, but... First bridge. Oh. Yeah, you always get a good rhythm going, but then somebody has to get in your way. Yeah, that, that's one of the reviews I read about this was saying that this is quite a difficult game because of the fact it's from the side. Uh, most racing games up until that point were from behind uh, car, third person, you know. Uh, and you could better judge, you know, what was coming that that add that little aspect oh adds a little layer of difficulty to the game okay second bridge and he cleared it oh. now, what would you think is the most difficult racing game you ever played um to be honest i'm not all that good at pole position but i still enjoy both pole position one and two. Um, honestly, the one I'm... Oh, darn it. The one I am the absolute worst at is Turbo. Um, I wasn't good at the arcade, and in the brief time I had a ColecoVision, I never got the add-on. Oh. And I probably wouldn't have liked that too much either, I, I suspect. Or that most other racing games I really enjoyed, but not that one. Oh, you beat my score. Yep, 218.79. It's time for the fourth track. Yep. So, uh... uh technically, we could stop now because I've won two, but, you know, uh, if you are able to tie it, then we can uh, figure something out. Okay. So we're on the fourth track now. Like I said, if he ties, if he wins, then we're into a tie and we gotta figure something out. Oh. Where'd that car come from? Oh, come on. bridge oh come on you know it's funny when you come out of the bridge I don't care how much how fast you're going I mean you think you're really doing great and then that's when they pile up in front of you right after the bridge oh well you did nice recovery yep Oh, come on. Come on, move it, move it, move it. I'm doing the best I can. Bridge is coming up. And I made it. Oh. Dang have it. gonna happen. Man, this is a long track. Oh, I forgot about the third, the last bridge. Darn it, that's gonna really hurt my score. Yeah, when it's uh, empty there for a while, it's like, oh, it's the end, but nope, it was another bridge. Yeah, that's going to cost me. Oh. Uh, man. Go, go, 
go, go, go. Three oh six. See if you can beat that. All right, I bet you I can. All right, now it's my turn. All right, will Larry beat my score and be the undisputed winner, or will he choke? Come on, yeah. I am Larry. Oh, yeah, you were gonna talk something smart, weren't you? Yeah, I was gonna say I'm Larry Andretti. Okay, I thought your last name was Lion. It is. Okay. Nice recovery, uh, naturally. Oh, come on. What a recovery. Oh, yeah, that time I didn't. Unbelievable. Oh. Well, it was good while it lasted. Yep. Oh, but he remembered the last bridge. Yep, sure did. Yeah, just slightly. Oh, man. Yep, I won. Told you I was a better driver than you. Yeah, okay, you won. Anyway, next time it's my turn to pick a game. Okay, so what do you want to pick? Well, we haven't done an Intellivision game yet, have we? Nah, not that I can recall. Uh, maybe we have and we just forgot. We're getting old, you know. Right. So, the next game we're going to play is... Frog Bog for the Intellivision. Yep, we're looking forward to that. Yep, so when we play this game, we'll find out which of us is the best at catching flies. Uh, I bet it's me. Okay, I thought you liked to eat antelope. Well, yeah, but, uh, let's not go there. Okay. All right, well, next time, that's what we're going to be playing. So, until next time, I'm Anthony Gamer. And I'm Larry, Larry the Lion. And we will see you all in the next episode of Anthony and Larry Play. Until then, have yourselves a great week. Bye. Bye, everyone. Get away from that thing. Bad kitties. Get away from there. Why is it every time you see a tripod, you feel you need to rub up against it? Bad kitties.